How's it going guys? We're back over here on the uh, Lexus GX470. Uh, these are the fender flares uh, from McQueen. Uh, sorry on the previous video I said the wrong uh, brand on this, but it's McQueen uh, Prototype Plastics. Uh, we're gonna be, uh, we already got the Dobson's 4x4 snorkel uh, mounted right up. It's a perfect fit. Uh, so like just like me and Weston talked about, uh, they look alike and they actually ended up setting up right too. Um, now all I need to do is uh, get the plastics. Uh, they need to have a couple pieces cut out uh, to fit our front bumper. Other than that, everything else fits up good. It just needs to be a little bit cut out to fit into our bumper space. Um, other than that, uh, we already did the cuts on the bumper. Um, so all the bumper pieces right here are all cut back and then out from the truck so that we can actually fit it inside of there. Um, the lights and everything fit good. Uh, the back end all fits nice right around here. Um, so that's a plus. Uh, we just need to get the, uh, we just gotta get these a little bit mocked up. Let's see right here in the front. I'm gonna draw them out and everything, uh, but we're gonna basically cut a little notch out of this uh, to where I can get it to go up into that bumper and fit where we want it to fit. Uh, all right. So uh, let's get started on it. All right, we got the notch cut. Like I said, it's not too crazy. So uh, I'm gonna go over there and try to fit it on. different angles i need to get a mic for this thing too that way you guys can like actually hear me when i'm far away uh, you know check out that view so obviously the bulge is just giving its tire all right so the here's the fender on uh you can see the little bit of modifications i had to make here in the bumper i'm gonna smoothen this all out make it look pretty um but man, covers the whole tire. Hopefully whenever I clean her up, obviously the paint should match. But dang, no touching. Really clean too. Not like a crazy fender, but just enough to know something's going on. So yeah, so now I gotta come over on this side. And you can see I got this one going, but it's just got too much height. So we gotta get it down. I like where the bumper's at. If I go any lower than the skid plates, everything has to move. So I would really like this to sit right here where the guy already had it set, um, cause everything's already in line for it. Um, and off of having to fix a bunch of other stuff on this truck, it's a pain in the butt, so got to do with what I got to work with and I'm not trying to you know destroy this guy's budget I'm just trying to redo stupid shit so here we are on being able to just uh trying to do what we have here so this side's gonna have to get cut down you can see this is a little bit smaller here so we'll cut this line out again and then that'll bring our, our fender down and then we'll match everything up to the snorkel and then um recenter all the lights and stuff and then I can close that down and then also uh, I went ahead and made a cool uh, battery so it's a 24 volt system now uh, we're just gonna run it in series so that it's just more power not 24 volts it's just gonna be 12 volts double stacked but I made a cool rack uh, uh, battery tray um, 
I have the DXF files and stuff if you guys have a CNC machine to cut that out. Uh, let's see. Oh, the lids, the top's over here. Let me go get it. So I, it's cold and uh, we're packed. So here's the top lid for it. And so this will keep our battery in place like so. And then we'll run our wires behind all the stuff, link that into over there, and then I can continue the wiring. But other than that, we did a bunch of stuff on this truck. You can check it out on Instagram. Uh, we just started getting into the videoing thing. Um, here's the old fender for it. Uh, we do a bunch of stuff like signs and whatnot too. So, uh, anyways, here's the fender though. Just got to get it forward a little bit and down, and then I can start modifying the back bracket because I think that one's going to be needed. And also, guys, there is this bracket, and I'm going to try to reuse it. And if not, what we're going to do is make a new one, and I'll show you how to do that really simple out of some flat strap. And a, if you don't have a brake, I can show you how to do it on a uh, vice clamp too. Uh, so, good old Bessie will show you how to do that. So, all right, I'm uh, going to jump into the warm room. And then I will come back out. Um, then I'll come back out and finish this up and uh, let you guys know if anything else I have to do. I've got to cut the other side too. All right, be back soon. So this is the piece that I had to do a lot of grinding on to get this bumper to fit the fender flare. Um, as you can see, this is how high it is right here going down. Um, and you'll notice a difference on the other side. That's not really my fault. That's the bumper is what it is. Um, so uh, this is all looks really well though. And we want to keep it look. We want it to stay like that. <gasps> so that's what we did for this side. Not too bad. Just cut it back, gave us more wheel clearance anyways. Um, now let me get you over to the other side. Okay, this side's a little bit more tough. Um, so first off, a lot of cutting in here, a lot of grinding, trying to get this to fit right so that it can go forward. Uh, again, we cut this all off right there. Uh, it does have the snorkel, I took all the snorkel stuff off. It's just causing too much problems. So now what I'll do is once this is all good to go, then I can reinstall the uh, snorkel piece on here and uh, put all the uh, ceiling in there that no water can go in there uh, for if he does use it. Um, this is the main part though that I kind of don't like. I'm a perfectionist. Um, I'll bring you over here. So I went ahead, cut this out just like the other side. It's, I mean, it looks all right. It looks good, but you can see the difference of height. Um, again, that's the bumper. It's got to be warped or something. Uh, I didn't put it on, so I can't really, nor do does he want to, you know, Customers don't want to pay for me to pull that all off. So, um, but other than that, I'll pull you back out. Uh, show you the body lines over here. Body lines. I have to. This one actually ended up. I have to put a new bracket right here. Uh, it, it could have probably used the other one, but the net just wasn't working for me, so I just pulled it all the way off. Uh, but I'm gonna just put a bolt on a new one, um, and then that'll hold this piece up. Uh, just that little bit, uh, but other than that, the door opens and closes really well. Um, so that's another plus. Um, on these fender flares, you're going to see some gap differences um, on both sides, um, and that's just going to happen because it's a different dimension. So it looks like a gap, but it's really not. Um, but overall, they look really fucking cool. Look really cool here. There's a back angle of it. You see the huge divot right here for the snorkel to go into. And I'll take you up to the front. 
So yeah, again, nice fitment there. Really makes the truck pop. Uh, cool deal. So I'm gonna get that bracket put in there and I'm gonna get everything drilled and prepped and bolted back in there and then I'll come back and I'll let you guys know uh, where we're at on these uh, McQueen fender flares getting installed. Um, and if there's any issues or whatnot that I can explain to make it a little bit easier for you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot, man. Alright guys, finished up on the GX470 uh, Lexus, uh, these are the front fender flares from McQueen uh, Prototype Plastics, uh, we went ahead and got them all installed, the body lines on the truck pretty good, uh, all the bolt holes smashed up all right, I had to kind of uh, use my, uh, my pop lead to tell me where they were at, uh, this is just a device I used to make my uh, marks for my holes, um, so this side came out good, everything's cut up, it's all nice and tight, um, everything else looks good underneath. Really didn't have to do too crazy um, on this side. Uh, let me take you over to the other side and show you the snorkel. Right. So this is the tool I use just to be able to find uh, marks, uh, just so go be in and pops. Uh, definitely useful when you're trying to find these holes up in here. You can pop it through and it just tells you exactly where it's at. Um, Part part on this side, uh, this is my problem side. Um, basically, this bumper is just a pain in the butt, but uh, we were able to get it all bolted up uh, with all the factory stock bolts. Uh, and the big is good, obviously, you see the bit has a little curvature to it. Uh, that's not from us, that must have been a previous trip. But uh, so now, what I'm having a problem with uh, is just the swivel bit. Um, when I go ahead and lay it up in here, this is the Dobbison's 4x4, uh, it's not the ARP one, and it doesn't fit. Uh, the angles of the door can still open, so I gotta figure out how to mod that. Um, see what I can do to fix that so it can work it. And then, other than that, the whole front fender flares are done. It just needs to be taken outside and cleaned up. Uh, a lot of work going on in here, so we've got to stay Yeah, I was really stoked how this came out. Um, it took a little bit longer to install than I had expected, uh, just because of the modifications I had to make for all of the bumpers and some of the mounting brackets, this side in particular. The other side, the mounting bracket fit right up on its snug, where I was able to screw right into it. This side didn't, I had to cut it off and relocate it. Uh, so that was like the only actual welding I had to do for this part. Um, but other than that, you know, we got the fender flares done. Uh, the secondary batteries installed with the battery uh, box that we made. So that's all good to go now. Uh, and then now we're just finishing up. Uh, I gotta get, again, I have to mod this out. List, but I have to mod this out, put the air lockers on, uh, wire in the second battery, and then put the air compressor for the lockers on, and then some touch up stuff. All the wiring's done up on top, uh, the lights are all good, everything's good on that. So just this and that now, and this truck's ready to roll up. Um, if you guys are going to watch the first one, and this is the second one for you, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please tell your friends and stuff if this works out. All week long, so just let us know. Uh, give us a like and follow and uh, subscribe. And then, uh, hope that I can keep making these videos. Uh, so, all right, let's jump on to the next part.